All right, so if you've used any sort of resistance bands in the past, uh, you may want to continue using them if you've got like a squat rack or a power rack, but uh, there really aren't any place on typical squat racks to attach them uh, if they have the typical uh, hook attachment. So I went on Amazon, I saw some different options that are available, but they are stupid, stupid expensive. So what I did was I went to Lowe's um, and went ahead and picked up an eye bolt, uh, some washers and uh, some nuts and for like a little over six bucks, I did what Amazon had for 40. Now this being said, this was not directly from Amazon. Uh, these, these were third party sellers and they were specifically marketed for this utility as opposed to selling the, the pieces individually. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what I bought from Lowe's. I'm sure you can get it at any other hardware store like Home Depot or Ace or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So I've already got the other uh, hook up, so I'll go ahead and let you take a look at that now. And uh, so let's go ahead then. And so we've got couple of washers like I said we've got the nut and then we have the eye bolt that comes with a, um, a nut as well automatically here so let's go ahead and see what we've got uh, so there is the receipt uh, I ended up getting two like I said so we've got four different washers we have two of the nuts and then we have two of the eye hooks and that was 641 with tax um, so much less expensive than the forty dollars that i saw on amazon i'm pretty sure that you could probably get these on amazon as well uh, but i wanted to make sure that i had the right equipment now you will notice that they are not exactly perfect they're not matching uh, so this is black and then we've got the two silver ones but eh so it's fine. So let's go ahead and attach this to my squat rack and we'll get started. All right, so first things first, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and put the nut all the way to the end where we want it there. And then what we're gonna do is take one of the the washers here, put that there. We're going to slide this through the hole. We're going to insert another washer here. And then we're going to go ahead and put the nut on. And then we're not going to want to tighten it too much, but just enough so that it gets the grip that we need. And there we go, we've got it hooked up. So now we have two of these guys. So let's go ahead and take one of our resistance bands here, as you can see, and there we go, we're attached. And just like that, now we can do any kind of exercise that we want with the resistance bands. And now I've got two set up on my squat rack. All right, so if you have any questions about these hooks um, or how to attach them to your squat rack or power rack, feel free to ask down below. Uh, I will leave uh, um, all the instructions as far as what I used and from, with the part numbers from Lowe's. I'll also leave a link to the ones on Amazon so you can kind of compare and see if it's something that maybe is just easier for you. Just like, just pull the trigger. You can do that. Uh, but if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Uh, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting. Uh, we do tend to do a lot of things that are like Star Wars or going to theme parks and that sort of thing. Uh, but we also do other things as well, uh, like home automation and, you know, home gym equipment. So with that, have a great day.